You've likely already used the array push method to go and add values to the end of an array in JavaScript. So here I have an example array that I've defined, and to add a value to the end, I could just say arr.push, and then go and type in the value that I want to add. So in this case, I'll add the number three. If I now go and see the value of arr, which is my array, notice how it has four values now instead of three. So we've added something to the end. Now, if you're wanting to add multiple values to the end of the array, one way to do that would be to call push multiple times, but there's actually a much easier way to do that. And that is just to call push with multiple arguments. So the push method accepts any number of arguments and the arguments that you pass in are all going to be appended in order to the end of the array. So let's say that I want to add the values one, two, three, all to the end of an array. I can just call push with each of those arguments. They do not have to be the same types. So I could also make one of these a string if I wanted to. So I'll go and make this one a string. And now you can see that the new array length is seven. That is the value that is getting returned by array push. And if we actually go and inspect the array, we can see that we have successfully pushed one, two, and three to the end of that array. Now let's say that instead of pushing values one at a time, you actually wanted to push all the values of another array onto the end of the current array. That's also quite easy to do using array.push. So here I'm gonna define another array. So I'll say const a2, and I'll just go and add some values here. So I'll say true and false, and then some object literal. So now I have this second array that I've defined and to go and push all the values of array two onto the first array that we've defined, all I have to do is say array.push. So that's the array that we're operating on. And then I'm going to use the spread operator to go and call push with the arguments from array two. So I'll say ar2. And when I go and I evaluate this, you can see that the new length of array is 10. So that is the value that is getting returned by array push. And if we actually go and inspect arr, you can see that sure enough, we've gone and tacked on the values from that first or from the second array onto the first array that we were working with. Calling push this way makes it easy to append multiple values onto the array that you're working with. And calling push with the spread operator makes it easy to tack the values of a second array onto the array that you're operating on.